Why are there so many amazing, incredible single women? I never wanted to be in this industry and kind of just happened to me. Name's Lydia, 30 years old, haven't been on a date in seven years. It feels like every guy that I meet who has a great personality, who I love hanging out with, isn't marriage material. The ones who want to get married. These people have made it impossible to find somebody. Six figures, a nine out of ten, abs, no kids, want her. I mean, a, so a solid four, right? And have families, don't have any money. Ones with careers where they could afford a family don't want them. I'm starting to think that the only men who want to get married are men who want to just like split rent with someone. Right. And the men who do have money value nice cars and cool apartments and going out for cocktails with their friends. Not the idea of like, You've devalued the currency. Well, the culture has devalued the currency of women. They've taken it down to a low level. It's transactional. You can meet a girl on Tinder and hook up in 15 minutes, and they talk about body count. And now you want a guy who can get a thousand girls in his queue on the, the apps, right? He can meet anybody. He can wait till he's 55 to have kids. Because that's the culture we live in. Going to soccer practice for their kids. I make a lot of videos and I feel like people are always in my comment section telling me that I'm the problem. And I'm not claiming to be perfect, but I think the larger problem is culture. Dating culture. I agree. It is dating culture. It's not dating culture. It's our culture in general. I did a video today on locals. If somebody from 60 years ago, 1963, came to 2023 San Francisco, what would they think? Is the culture better? People happier? Are they healthier? I mean, that is a true test of whether a culture is doing better or worse. I know so many women similar to me that are putting themselves out there and we have good careers and we come from good backgrounds and we want genuine connections. We can't seem to find just like one guy who like has a career and also wants to get married and have kids and has like manners. Feels like to me my bar is so low, but then I come on here and people tell me that I expect too much. But I think I'd rather just stay single than like marry some like really funny, nice, broke guy. Because... What if the guy's funny, nice, you really enjoy him, but he's broke? He's got a normal job. He works at the county as a building inspector. That'd be broke in her terms. Would that make her happy? I mean, does she need somebody to give her money? The guy can take care of himself. He doesn't have her level of money. And this is a no-win here. Find someone you like, you don't want him to be a liability. But uh, <laughs> she's not going to find anybody she wants here. I would just end up resenting him. Hi, let me just introduce myself really quick. Name's Lydia, 30 years old. Haven't been on a date in seven years. All in God's timing. Praise the Lord. It didn't register to me how out of touch with the dating. How do you not go on a date in seven years? Seven years? Not a date at all? I just don't believe that. Maybe hookups, right? Tinder hookups? Bumble? Whatever. I can see that. The world I was until my sister told me this yesterday. I love my sister very much, but I would call her a dating app veteran at this point. She has made her way through, you know, she's in the Tinder, the, the Bumble, the Hinge, the Christian Mingle. That one's not going well. Now, me, on the other hand, I've dipped my toes in a little bit, but I've got what's known as um, um, problems. So what my sister told me that blows my mind. It's like window shopping, going around looking at things. You're not going to buy them. Play around on apps all night. You'd be better off just getting involved in an organization, a community organization, a church, a rec sports league. Meet somebody, interact with them. These people put their best pictures up. They lie to you, and then you go down the path, and you go, oh, they're not the person I thought they were. They, they stink. <laughs> they got a weird tick. Is that once she has gone through on an app, like, all the people in her area and she's not interested, she will download a VPN and change her location so she can find guys in, like, different countries. I mean, she is swiping her way through London, through Johannesburg, Spain, Turkey. Like, you name the country, she swiped in it. She's just a dreamer, right? She's going to meet someone in Turkey who wants to date someone in Cleveland, Ohio. I mean, these people are, at, I mean, she doesn't want a, a date. She's saying something turkey. It's a fantasy, right? It's like a fantasy children's novel, fairy tale. I don't know. We've raised a generation to believe in fairy tales. If you think you're a woman, you can be a woman. Anybody can be a woman. It's does not going to work, right? And I'm out here thinking, like, what am I, what pictures am I going to post on my Hinge profile? Like, I used to post a photo of my dog, but he's dead now. That was too morbid, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, gosh. Anyways. Happy Thursday. Thanks. Or as my sister would say, since she's done a lot of swiping in Turkey, um, mashallah. Right, right. Hi, guys. This is honestly one of the hardest videos I've ever had. So you believe this title, leaving my multi-millionaire OF job to be a waitress. Her age. It'd be hard to leave. Multi-millionaire job, right? I don't see it. And you got to know when you go into these things, you're doing internet corn vids. It's going to be out there forever. People are going to see it. It's going to come up. Right? Unless you're 
addict of some type, you're gonna go, well, this is the best choice, right? To make, and I really just wanna explain everything to you guys. Right. I never wanted to be in this industry and it kind of just happened to me, which I know people are not gonna understand and they're gonna be like, you chose this. And I definitely made my own decisions, but it is an industry that has truly destroyed my soul. Yeah. When your job is stick things and holes in your body and get paid to do it, you ha it's demeaning. That's what it is. We understand that. Now, since she didn't want to get into it, she's into it. Okay, just say you made a mistake. You just messed up. It was a bad call. You just move on. You don't make a video, put on TikTok, and say, I wasn't doing cord vids on OF. And I have talking code, of course, on YouTube. And you just let it go. You move on. You say, I made a mistake. I was foolish. I was naive. I had an addiction problem. Something, right? You just drop it and move forward. I'm not sitting here asking for sympathy at all. I just want to explain my entire story because I've never really told it before. So when I was very, very young, I was a victim of... Well, you know where she's going with this, so something terrible happened. I get it. We'll keep going because I can't play this on YouTube because you're not adults. Truly changed the course of my life. I entered work through somebody that I knew who ended up making money off of me and they're all making money off of you OF all these things it could be just you going to OF OF's making money off of you everybody makes money off of somebody else generally that's how it works right if you're an employee you make money for your employer I don't know what she thinks she was going to get out of this where did she think this was going to go now I get it people make mistakes she's young but she needs this talk like here's a hard talk accept responsibility and then move on move on don't do videos about it stop talking about it Stop living the lifestyle you did, meeting someone in 10 minutes on an app like we saw and hooking up. At the time, I just wanted money. I thought it was no big deal. It was good for like six months. I was making money. I was feeling good. I was rich. But as time went on, you become a slave. Not to mention dating, which was something I didn't even predict. I would go on dates and then eventually tell them what I did. And it would either go one or two ways. They would not accept it and call me a whore, or they would say, you know, let's make money together, let's make a second. What do you expect? They cannot accept it. I don't think you'd be called her a whore <laughs> in a date. Because I'd be like, uh, I wish I'd known this before. I'm not into it. But of course guys are going to fetishize it. You know, people like, the guy dates a stripper, right? He thinks it's going to be so much better. That's the point. We can make money together, as in, let's do it. We'll videotape it. <laughs> You're not going to make any money. I'm a smart person. I've always been really Genius. smart. I've been like, how other things to bother other than, like, being an OnlyFans girl. But this industry will, like, consume you and it'll make you feel like that's all you're made for. I'm rambling, but... Think about this. Say you're an NFL player. All you're made for is football. You're a good lawyer. All you're made for is practicing law. I mean, that happens in every job. This happens to be a demeaning job. When guys are talking about just nasty, you know, you can imagine the OF comments here. What they pay for. What they want to do. When I mean person. They're fat, sweaty, you know, teamsters. Who want to degenerate shit. Who are parents' age. But that's the job, right? That's the job you picked. And you don't like it, you get out and you move on. You just say, ah, right, bad call. For me, it's just not an industry for me. And yeah. I know there's a lot of girls who who feel attached to it. I feel like I'm dying inside. Like I want a family, I want kids, I want my whole life. And it doesn't discredit everything I've done and, and the pictures and the videos and everything. This is where she lost me. It doesn't discredit everything I've done. You've done corn vids on the internet, honey. So there's no credit to the corn vids. It does discredit it. You did it, right? For slinging dope on the corner, you should discredit the job. <laughs> These people, they don't get it. You have to take responsibility. It's not an admirable career. Media's pushed this. It's no big deal. You call it sex work now, and it's okay. It's not okay because you see all these people aren't happy. You're not proud of it. You're used as... For your body you age out of it and that's just what it is right you made this far i want to thank you go to locals join me you want to support the videos you like the message you want to hear uncensored content nowhere else 
I don't do retreads on locals. Live stream just on locals. Why am I doing it, you may ask. Because YouTube demonetized me in February, all my channels. I'm just trying to extract what I can for an audience to keep this going if you, if you like it, right? Thanks for being here.